35 years ago today, Ron Wood appeared on the syndicated show PM Magazine promoting his book about his life and his artwork. His wife, Jo, was on the show with him. And the interview focused upon decadence connected to John Belushi, to the Stones, to drug use. And it's a pretty open and frank interview. A lot jammed into a few minutes. Musicians are sometimes called musical artists, and although artist is a broad term, it fits some folks better than it does others. Now, the Rolling Stones have been one of rock's top bands for over 20 years, and Stones guitarist Ron Wood is a man for whom the term artist has more than one meaning. When I was in the Faces, I was the only guitar player, and I used to call the shots, like, and joining the Stones, I immediately settled into a second banana type of thing. Like with Keith, uh, this is what's happening, you know. Although they had known each other for years, it was a little tricky when Wood first became a stone. Ronnie had to memorize 150 songs and then play them perfectly in a stadium full of people. What happens when you make a mistake on stage with the Stones? Mick gets more annoyed and Keith makes more of a deal out of it. He'll tell the audience, he made a mistake, him, you know, and you go, oh, no. And Mick will turn around and go, what are you doing? I say, I made a mistake, all right? But we always do it with a sense of humor. Uh, I've only made uh, one mistake. <laughs> Is an artist as well as a musician. At a recent exhibition of his work at the Art Exchange in San Francisco, Ronnie and his wife Joe ran into their old friend Bill Graham. Bill is just one of the many rock legends Ronnie has captured on canvas. John Lennon, Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry, and of course Ronnie's best friend Keith Richards. On Joe's first date with Ronnie, she found out just what good friends they are. There I met Keith was um, in Paris, and um, we we arranged to meet <laughs> for a dirty weekend in Paris. And um, yeah, the streets are filled. Turns up with Keith behind him. I couldn't believe it. Unbelievable. Yeah, the first time. What is he doing here? He's a softy underneath. He, as a trickster, he sets little traps, and if you fall into them, then you weren't watching. No, but you have to be there. Remember that time on tour when you were really horrible? And so then afterwards, Mick came to me, he said, and I was crying or something, and Mick said, don't cry, Joe. He said, um... You can always come to my room. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. He didn't. <coughs> oh, my God. Um, and he said, don't cry, Joe. I said... I said, said come on, get your story straight, said, Joe. Come on. He said... He said, if this is the only time you've cried on tour, he said, I've cried a lot of times on tour. He said... I've been really good. I mean, he was just really nice to me. But that, you know, other times he bites me on the shoulder and he's a... Oh, yeah, he's fine. He can be horrible, but he's, he's much nicer now. Time is on my side. Time is on my side. Some of Ron's paintings evoke painful memories, like this portrait of John Belushi. Some have accused Ron of encouraging John's drug use. Sure, we dabbled, and, uh, you know, John would... If you say, that's enough, he would stop. But if you weren't there to say it, which I wasn't when he... You know, or apparent friends coming over and trying to impress you with the amount of dope that they can take, and then passing out, and you have to walk around and save their lives, and walk them about, you know. Keith would often ring me up and say, quick, will you come up to my room? They're dropping like flies, you know. So I used to think it was the thing to do was come in and OD, you know. Uh, that was not very exciting. John Belushi is just one of many people Ron writes about in his new book, Ron Wood by Ron Wood. 
The book is full of his drawings and memories, and is the first book ever written by a Rolling Stone. At the age of 40, Ron Wood has taken 20 years of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and put it all down on paper. I'm, I'm very pleased, really. Oh, I'm looking at it now, look, and it says, this is Ron Wood by Ron Wood. That sounds strange to me. It was meant to be Craig, Ron Wood, The Works. Ron's artistic imagination is not limited by the usual tools of the trade. Now, if you can believe this, he's done paintings using mustard and champagne instead of the usual paints. Probably got that idea at one of those Stones after show parties back at the hotel. Fun fact, the Cleveland host of PM Magazine, Mr. Michael Stanley, had one of his songs performed at the Grand Ole Opry this weekend by the shootouts. I'll never need anyone more. How cool is that? 